But there's a better life. There's a better life. If you're not pain, is a pain taker. Amen. If you feel lost, is a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, is a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, is a chain breaker.
uh, for an inheritance. He obeyed and went out, not knowing whether he went. So by faith he went out. Now the big question is this country that we are in the our aim and our desire? Is this the cream of our life? Have we reached to that point? To say this now I've reached to the land. Have I reached to this promised land? The land that is flowing with milk and honey? Look around you, and you can see it is not so. But the Bible tells us here in Hebrew that when Abraham reached to that country, he dwelled in tents. Not that he could not afford to set up some good foundation, but he chose to dwell in tents. What do you think he had in his, behind his back? You see, when Abraham reached there, he was looking for a better land. So whenever we, when we leave from Jamaica or wherever, whatever country you may be from, when you get there, he said, no, this is not the place. <laughs> this is not the place. Violence, killing hunger, nakedness, and you name it, it's here. Sinfulness and everything. The Bible says that he dwelled in tents. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise. As in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heir, with him of the same promise. Now, what is this land that we are really looking for? Which is, what, what is our promised land? Okay. Just should in case we get it wrong, turn with me to Revelation chapter 21. And John the Bap John the Revelator says, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there were no more sea. So, my brethren, it is not on this earth, period. Not on this earth. That's not the land that we are looking for. Not on this earth. It's that one that John saw. He says, I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I, John, heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with man, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. That's our major objective. That's the land we are searching for. Not here, nowhere on this earth, at this time, until when God shall come down, after we have spent a thousand years in glory, and then return. Then John said he saw the city coming down. We will be on that city coming down. Hey, and as it says that uh, uh, when Jesus himself, his foot shall touch down on the Mount of Olives, and it shall cleave asunder. Yes, and that city shall come and rest right here. The holy city, the new Jerusalem. My brethren, I'm here to encourage you and to let you know that it is yet to come. We are all out here preparing for it, but it is not a must that we need there. Because if you fall short, if you falter along the way, certainly you will not be able to make it. But the Lord is saying to us, keep courage, keep holding on. He has promised that he will come again. Listen to the land. Listen to something more about the land. Yeah. And he shall uh, sat down upon the throne and said, Behold, I made all things new. He said unto me, Right, for these words are true and faithful. 
And he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto them that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life, freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be uh, my son. I don't want to mention about the fearful and the ungodly. They will not be mentioned there. So why should I mention it now? But those who remain faithful to your calling will, of course, make your election sure. But if we falter along the way, if we allow the transitory things of this life or this earth to divert our intention or our minds or thinking, it will be too bad for us. So let us hold on to the promises. Let us be faithful to our God. Let us keep the faith lamps burning. And by doing so, let us help others to make their calling and their election sure. Now, I'd like us to turn with me to your song book, song number 632. And we're going to wrap this up.
into that city. All right, we're going to close things off. Um, while we're handing out the candles, Sister Brown is going to sing. We're going to form our circle around the, the walls of the church, and we're going to um, light our candles as we plan and uh, make a commitment that we will let our light so shine. And we will light each other's pathway as we have entered into 2017. And as we remember that Christ has said that we are the light of the world. And therefore, we want to make sure that our light so shine before men. That's a symbolism in what we're going to do with these candles because we want to let our light so shine that men may see our good works and be led to glorify our Father which is in heaven. So, as Sister Brown Constant asked, that we form our circle around the walls of the church and we're going to have these little kids handing out the, the candles. All right?
picture with the, um, especially the younger ones, just keep it up so that when the can the wax is falling, it gets into it. So don't mess up the carpet. This is candlelighting at church for New Year's. Happy New Year's all and have a wonderful evening. Night, actually. Um, everyone has a candle? Yes. Okay. Let's make sure that all our candles are lit. Very good. All right, we're going to sing one of those um, light songs. You don't know, hold out your light, you have a damn soldier. Yes. Yes. You don't know it? Yes. We're heaven bound soldiers, right? Yes. Oh. Oh. Hold out your light. You have it bound, soldier. Hold out your light. You have it bound, soldier. Hold out your light. You have it bound, soldier. Let your light shine around the world. Oh, hold out your light. Oh, brother, won't you hold out your light? So most people don't know that one. We're gonna change it. We're gonna sing it one day. Uh, you know this a lot of them. Everybody know that one? Yes. Everybody on this side know it? Everybody on that side know it? This is a lot of mine? Yes. Uh, let's go with that. All right. After two. One, two. This is a lot of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This is a lot of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let's go one more time. This is a lot of mine. This is the light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. Hide it under a bushel. No. I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. All around the neighborhood, all around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine until Jesus comes. Shine until Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. One more time, this is what I want. This is what I want. Church by herself 
reach the target of 30. Amen. Amen. When we look around us, we see that the pews will be getting filled and filled and filled. So I want to encourage each and every one of our school, uh, not just sing the song, but make it our determined effort to bring someone to Jesus in this new year. Yes. Um, there's so many who are dying sin. Um, as Brother Dixon and Brother Martin sang this morning, people need the Lord. Yes. Every day they pass us by. We can see it in their eyes. Don't we see it in their eyes? People need the Lord. We're entering into a trying season the next four years. In time last, we don't know what's going to happen. Uh, we have a new person taking seat in a couple of weeks. And um, he's been saying a lot of stuff that makes us concerned about our religious rights. But we have nothing to fear, right? Putting our trust in the hands of God. And we're going to move forward knowing that he that is for us is more than those that are against us. Right? So we're going to pray as we close off um, this evening's um, service. And as we've all entered into the new year, I'm going to invite you to bow your heads with me as we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, what a great privilege it is for us at the end of one year and the beginning of a new year to be found in your house of worship. What better place to be to give you thanks for all that you've done for us. You've been a good God. Every day of this year, our needs were met. And so we want to say thanks, thanks, thanks. We give you thanks for all that you've done for us. May not have been all good days, but through it all, we learn to depend on Jesus. Now, as we've embarked upon this new year, we do not know what it holds for us. And there are those of us who are standing in this circle who may be cut off by the cold and chilly hands of death. But we have nothing to fear. Because we've read in your words that you are the resurrection and the life. And that for those of our members who passed off in 2016, many of us that may go down in 2017, we know that one day the trump of God will sound and the dead in Christ shall rise first. But peradventure our lives will be spared to see you come in the clouds of heaven. We pray that we'll not be like those who run into the rocks or the mountains, saying, Fall on us, and hide us on the face of him who sits on the throne. But may we say, Lo, this is our God, whom we have waited for him, and he will save us. Then with the ransom throng, may we hear from the lips of our blessed Redeemer, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. And now I speak faithful over a few things, and now make thee ruler over men. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. We are prayer to this end. May our needs be met according to your will. And we thank you for your blessings. In Jesus' name.
There's lots of um, refreshment, lots of games. So please make sure you have your, your dominoes, your uno, your defensive ring games. We're going to have all that sort of stuff going on this evening. We have refreshments ready downstairs. So guys, let's just spend some time together enjoying each other's fellowship. Thank you. 